Hello friend, it's uh, Boris Stitcher here, today it's time for a new tutorial on my channel. The one that you have been asking for the best uh, custom tactics and game plans for FIFA 19. And remember that everybody has different preferences, uh, different ambition levels and uh, game styles, but these tactics uh, will work for all players and is a great foundation to proceed from. Let's get into it. Balanced. This will be your universal tactic with a slight defensive mindset. Defense always comes first in FIFA and should always be prioritized. Some players might want to use a different in-game formation than the default choice. But you can always make that change in the game. Just press pause old school style. A 20 second investment which will give you one extra game plan. Which can be the difference in the end. Alright. On balance we are using balance pressure. 6 on width and 3 on depth. A low backline is always a better choice if you're not very confident in the defense. Through balls is the most dangerous attacking tool in FIFA 19 and these are the ones we don't want to allow. That is why we're using a low defensive line. In the attack we're playing balance as well which gives us multiple attacking options. And here we're using 5 in width and 4 on players in box. Nothing drastic, just a balanced mindset. On corners and free kicks we're using two bars. There is nothing more needed in order to score corners. Instructions will depend on your formation. But the rule is to use getting behind for the strikers and stay back for both your CM or CDMs if you're using a two man midfield. If you have a three man midfield you only need your central mid to stay back. And also we're using stay at the back for the wing backs. And then we have your defensive game plan. If you don't want to use your default formation in the game and can't be arsed to pause and make a change in the game, you can just copy what I just mentioned for balance and change this to your favorite formation. But I really recommend you to utilize all 5 game plans. Here we're using pressure on heavy touch instead, which is a safe option but adds a small flavor to it. And once again we're using 6 on width and 3 on depth. But here we're going to change our attacking style a bit. Instead of balanced, we're using possession. Also we're using 7 on width and 3 on players in box to bolster our possession style. And also we leave corners and free kicks unchanged on 2. Here we can either change to a different more complex formation or remain with our default option. It's not necessary to change formation for each game style, but it will increase the effect of each tactical change. In this case we'll change to the more compact 4 triple 2 with the same instructions. And don't forget to swap the players if you're doing a formational change. Then we have ultra defensive. This is the one you want to use the last 15 to 20 minutes to preserve a lead when you are under pressure. So we're gonna use drop back, 4 on width and 2 on depth. This will give you a very low and compact defensive line which will be very hard to penetrate. But we also want an attacking weapon. So we're using long balls to hopefully find a space behind the opponent's naked defensive line. Also we're using 8 on width in case we want to keep possession and also 1 on players in box. We want to keep as many players as possible behind the ball. And of course we're using 1 on corners and free kicks. Here we can once again change to a smart defensive formation to bolster the effect of our defensive mindset. So here I will change to the 4-2-3-1 wide. I will use comeback in defense for all attacking players and getting behind for the wingers. Midfield and wingbacks will remain on stay back. With the wingers getting in behind we will have a dangerous counter attack weapon. Especially since the opponent most likely will expose his wingbacks when chasing for the equalizer. Alright moving over to the attacking game plans. Here we will use a similar version of our balance slash default game plan but with a more attacking twist. This can be used when you're trailing but have a lot of time to come back or when you face a weaker opponent that you're completely dominating. Here we're using press after possession loss, 6 on width and 6 on depth. This will give us a more aggressive defensive structure but without going crazy. In the attack we're still on balance but with more attacking values. So we're using 6 on width and 6 on players in box. Also we slightly increase the corners and free kicks to 3. Here we could once again change formation to something more dominant as a 3-5-2 or use a diamond 4-1-2-1-2 in order to create more chances. Or we can just keep our default formation with slightly more attacking instructions, for example leaving our wingbacks unbalanced. Finally we have ultra attacking. This should be used when hope is running out. 
most likely the last 10 to 15 minutes if you're trailing. Here we're using constant pressure and 8 in width and depth. There is nothing to lose. Also we want to move our player positions forward as quick as possible. So we're changing to fast build up. Whiff will be on 8 to try to spread out the opponent's defense and we'll maximize players in box. We will also use max values on corners and free kicks. Once again, there is nothing to lose. And this is the game plan where I really recommend you to change your formation. A very smart choice here is to go with 3 at the back, for example the 3-4-1-2. And here we will use as attacking instructions as possible. Get in behind for the forwards and stay forward for all attacking players. Make your midfielders get forward and also pick your best attacking center back to join the attack. Everything forward to try to get that golden equalizer. 5 game plans and 5 different tactics ready for every opponent. And like I said before, everybody has different ambition levels and different uh, styles. For example, a pro might want to use a little bit more attacking and aggressive values, while maybe a weaker player want to use a little bit more conservative values. But these ones are a great foundation to proceed from and they will still work amazing without making any changes. But that is it for today guys, if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe for some more FIFA 19 content. Thank you so much for watching as always, you know, until next time.